Hey everyone, Omerko here, self-taught web developer. Welcome to another video for the Angular Material series. This time we will work with the CDK scrolling. CDK scrolling is the package that can react to scrolling events. Next to that, it can help us with virtual scroll and give us virtual scroll loop, similar to for loop that we usually use in Angular. Before we do anything, be sure to subscribe as just about 3% of you who are watching my videos are actually subscribed to my YouTube channel. The first thing that we will do is generate the component where we will use our scrolling package. For that, in my terminal, I will use command of ng, g for generate, c for component, and I will generate my component in components, slash cdk, slash scrolling. In my app.component.html file, I can use this component now. I will first hide the component from the last video. If you wish to watch that video, you will have a link down in the description of this one. Right after this component, I will use comment of cdk, scrolling. Then I can use my component that we just generated, which is app scrolling. And finally, the ending comment of end of cdk scrolling. To use this scrolling package, we must first import it. For that, I will open my app.module.ts file. At the top of this file, I will import my scrolling module and I will import that module from at angular slash cdk slash scrolling. One thing to make sure here is to pass this scrolling module down in imports array. Now, to test this package with some items, well, we first need to create those items. And as I plan to use this scrolling module in my specific component that we generated, I will go into my CDK, find that scrolling component, and I will open up the scrolling that component that TS file. In this file, I will simply paste one line of code here. Let me clarify this a bit. This here will create one array of 1 million items. And each of those items will be named with item and the index of that item. So 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. And with this now, we do have those items that we can use for our scrolling. Also, as I wish to use these items in some kind of list, I should create that list. Before I do that, I will first open my scrolling.component.css file. In this file, I will simply paste some styling to style that viewport and the items inside of that list. Finally, to create that list, I will open up the HTML file of this component. In this file, I will create one div element. This div element can hold style attribute on it. And for this style attribute, I will set margin to be 50 pixels top and bottom out of or left and right. Next to this margin, I will also set the width of this div to be 500 pixels. With this, we will center our list of items, well, on our screen. Now, to create that list of items with our scrolling package, we can use the specific element here, which is called CDK virtual scroll viewport. This element will set the virtual scrolling for us. It will also give us the option for additional parameters that we can use with its own loop. Now to this element here, I will pass one class and class will be viewport. And we can also set this attribute of item size to specify how much items well should virtual scroll work well initially. And I will set that to 50, for example. Now inside of our virtual scroll that we have here, I will create one div for each of our items. To this div here, I will pass the class of item. And now to loop through our items that we have in our TypeScript, we won't use that usual ng4 directive from Angular. What we will use is a specific virtual scroll directive, which is called CDK virtual for, because it's a for loop at the end. This CDK virtual for will give us that original loop from ng4, but also it will give us that virtual rendering and additional attributes that we can use. So to loop now through my items, I will set let item of my items that I have. And for example, if I wish to get the access to those additional attributes, I can do something like this. I will use let first and set it equal to my first item. 
This here will just return just the first item from IRA. Let me break this down a bit so you could see it a bit clearer as well. Next to this first, I will use let of last and set it equal to last. This will obviously give us the last item of our array. Now, for each of our items that we are looping through, we can create another div, for example. In this div, I can simply present just the name of the item, well, the title of it, which would be its own item. Or we could do something like this. Let me put the text before this item, which will be first, and then I will leave this item as property bind bound here, but after it, I will do something like this. I will use property binding once again, but I will check if my item was a first item. So if the item was a first item, then I will use text of yes. Otherwise, it will be text of no. Let's now copy this entire div, this first div that you are using, and paste it down below. This time I will change this first to be last. I will still present my item, but here I won't check for the first item, I will check for the last item. And with this here, we should be finished with this simple example. On our browser, when we open that up, we should see our list of items with their names and yes or no text next to it, based on if the item was per first or last. And just to mention before we move to test, next to these variables of first and last, you can check for a bunch of different variables as well. For example, you can check for the count of our items, or you can check if the item was an odd number uh, item, or even a number item, and so on. In my browser now, we can see our list of items. We can obviously see each item, which will be item 0, item 1, item 2, and so on to 1 million. For our first item here, we can see that the first item will have that, that yes text next to it, because it is truly first item. Also, if I would start scrolling a bit faster, you can see that at some point we won't see any items. And this is because of that virtual scroll. It will mimic the update and loading of the items. Also, if I would scroll all the way down for our last item here, we could see text of yes for the last as well, which means that this variable of last worked as well, which is great. But with this, we are finished with this video. Before you go, don't forget to subscribe, as just about 3% of you who are watching my videos are actually subscribed to my YouTube channel. Thank you once again and bye-bye.